Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, to answer a question today that I get quite regularly and um, I've made videos in the past but from time to time it's not a bad idea to refresh. Um, you know what is a PC reset and also when should that be done and should we do it regularly? So of course when you use Windows one of the things that happens with Windows is that over time it will actually get more and more um, you know bloated with all sorts of things that you might have done software you installed and uninstalled and you know o over time the registry the file system the files left behind and all of that will have an impact uh, but mostly what you install and uninstall over time plus the updates plus um, you know all of the uh, the feature updates, the big feature updates. And uh, of course, a lot of people think that using software like CCleaner does anything and it does not. Um, these are software that are useless. Windows is fine alone. And the only thing that really works when you start seeing a slowdown or you start seeing maybe some problems because file can get corrupted also is what we call a reinstall of Windows or a PC reset in general. So when you go to your settings app uh, in the settings, you will see that in the Windows Update section, there is an option that is, so you go to advanced options and there's an option that's uh, going to actually have you, um, give you the possibility to uh, completely restart your PC in the recovery. So in the recovery section, reset this PC. It's available in Windows 10 it's available in Windows 11. What Reset This PC does, it will ask you a um, couple of questions. One is a complete PC reset with, you know, removing all the files, which means that when you restart, it's close to a clean install where Windows starts from scratch. And there's another one where you can actually reset the PC but keep the, the files and apps. I recommend removing everything and having a backup and removing everything to start from scratch, like if it was a new PC. So this is a way to reinstall Windows, and it is easy because it doesn't really do much. It will just you know work well. It does a lot, but what I mean is you don't have to do much. Even people that don't really have a lot of experience in installing Windows can actually do the reset PC thing, and most people probably can do it. It will simply reinstall your windows from scratch ask you for questions and then you're back on track in working with your computer once you're connected back to either your wi-fi or uh, if you're connected with a cable it's automatic there's really not a lot to do in a reset a pc reset most of everything is reinstalled and uh, it's not like you know the old days people are still scared of reinstalling windows themselves because they think of you know times of windows xp and where are my drivers and where's I got to download this or that? It's so much easier today. It's pretty much an automated process now. So when do you do this? Um, you know, it depends on the usage. People that don't use the PC a lot can generally go years and there's really no reason necessarily to reinstall. I've seen that on many PCs or as a tech guy. Um, if you're a user that, you know, use, if you use a PC every day and a lot of it and install software and uninstall software and do a lot of stuff, um, I would often say a once a year cleanup is not a bad idea and it prevents um, having problems over time and uh, especially with, you know, maybe corrupt files that could happen, stuff like that. Uh, but it really depends on how you use your PC. So it will be... You know, once a year for a, a heavy user, it will be could take several years before you have to do it on a PC that um, you don't use a lot. If you have viruses, malware, I recommend you reset the PC completely and remove everything. It is the only way you will be sure that the viruses are gone. Um, stuff like that. But apparently, if you don't have any problems, you don't see really a slowdown, you don't have to. You know, no errors, no slowdown, no freezes. You don't have to do a reset this PC. But if you do start having problems regularly, if you see that your PC is much slower than it used to be, that's not a bad idea to have a reset the PC.
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.